Thank you very much for having me. My name is Nina Ruhatze. Um, I'm a Master of English Philology at Ilya State University, Tbilisi, Georgia. So currently I have practical English classes, also academic writing, and the one that I actually designed, uh, that is uh, the language of media. Yeah, English philology. Uh, actually, the faculty I represent, that is uh, arts and sciences, but the department of English language and um, uh, literature. And uh, the students, uh, actually, IDH uh, also opt for becoming English philologists, so they specialize in English philology. Thank you very much. That's a very good question. You know, as a staff member of Elliott State University, we constantly uh, get updates about um, calls for mobility. And I always check what uh, the target universities have to offer. And that is not very often that um, English philology is in the list of, um, of the faculty. So, and uh, this time when I checked the entire list, I found that Bordeaux Montaigne University had this um, English philology to offer. So I decided to jump at the opportunity. And uh, yeah, because you know what? I just fancy teaching job being similar to that, uh, that of a bicycle rider. You have to keep racing or, or, or you will fall down. So, and it's constantly trying to upgrade your skills and, um, you know, expanding your teaching possibilities. So that, that's great. And uh, while well, mobility participating in the mobility program provides the best opportunity. Uh, yeah, this is also a very good question. Uh, well, the advantages are, um, I don't know, uh, innumerable, but the major advantage actually that is to be found to mobility is that, to this target mobility, is that you kind of familiarize yourself with the ways your colleagues teach and uh, maybe consider employing the uh, ways or techniques that they use in class how they deliver the same content because we actually operate in the same sphere uh, ours um, our interests are the same our spheres of research are the same but actually you come to discover that everything is um, you know done in a different way by your colleagues so and it's uh, that's great experience because it enables you to well share the experience gained with your colleagues back at home university and um, integrate newly acquired skills in uh, in current practice. It's it's lifelong learning, no matter how long you have been in the profession. And I have been. I kind of refer to myself as um, as an existential teacher. I for as long as I remember myself, I've been in this sphere teaching always, but um, but learning is uh, is not enough. And um, um. this uh, particular program is the best way to, uh, it has a kind of mirror effect, you know, you look into it and you see your your personal strengths and weaknesses and then you, you try to improve on it. So to make your um, current methods um, more updated. Uh, I really have a lot to say <coughs> about it. Well, uh, um, on Monday, I mean, that, that was the first day when I started my mobility, I joined the class with Mary Liz um, Peely if I pronounce her second name correctly. So that was the class um, on the topic of uh, poets uh, of subversion. And uh, the particular class delved into two poems of uh, Sylvia Plath, 
Lady Lazarus and Daddy. And I was really amazed uh, how she uh, kind of delivered the entire content, how she happened to arouse interest. Um, and at the same time, uh, that was my privilege to witness and to observe this exuberant, highly motivated students, um, how they discussed it from syntactical or connotational or stylistic point of view. So I was just pleasantly surprised to know that, uh, to, to see that. And uh, well, this is what I will definitely never forget. This is the kind of thing that is never consigned to past. And yesterday's classes, for example, were marvelous. Mm, that was not quite my sphere of research. It was uh, wine tourism or mm, something. But anyway, I did enjoy myself how students, um, again, just um, got engaged in any kind of classroom activities or discussions that were ongoing. And it all was in English and how extensive their vocabulary was. And um, from my personal perspective, so as an English philologist, so I just kind of um, assessed their linguistic command, and that was really good. So, and um, as for outside working context, you know, the communication and um, interaction with my colleagues and um, exchanging of um, our personal views or experiences. That is something that will always be remembered. Well, if it has to be one word, it has to be then enlightening. Enlightening, that's it. That's great. That would be my my pleasure and um, greatest honor at the same time to maintain context with them. For example, Mr. Antoine, whose name I unfortunately forgot. It, it actually is on the tip of my tongue, but I can't recall it. But anyway, he's planning to come to Georgia. He told me yesterday, um, again, this exchange program or whatever so and uh, that's going to be another opportunity to deal with him in more informal atmosphere um, and as for uh, the ladies um, I had had the honor to meet of course I will do my best to maintain contact with them they have been of great help I mean ever since I applied for this uh, mobility app to now they have always been willing to render help and um, coming up with sound advices, accommodating any interests I, I had. And actually, it is them who made my stay, who made my mobility. So I will definitely try to maintain contact with them and uh, because we operate in the same sphere. These are the people who operate in the highest tier of, of the profession. So, and besides, the universe is so small, our roads might intersect somewhere in Georgia or in France or elsewhere, so um, I will do my best to, to keep in touch with them all the time and uh, keep updated on, on their uh, ways of teaching or, or whatever is going on in their profession. Actually, well, I can only use superlatives to to refer to Bordemontan University and the colleagues who hosted me here, beginning from um, my colleagues in the administrative department to academic staff. Um, I'm just uh, filled with emotions, and I suppose you know anything takes time to be absorbed by the soul. Maybe um, uh, some time later, I will articulate my feelings more than I do now. But what I can say is that that has been marvelous experience, just one of a kind. <laughs>